Hey guys, so we have a very special guest with us today. We have the one and only KP Rush. So this episode, we talked a ton about motivation, determination, attitude, what sets KP Rush apart from everyone else. Let's get into this episode. It's Levels. Levels. I'm Billy Henzo, and I'm obsessed connecting real people to real supplements. Let's get into this video. All right, well, thanks so much for joining me today. Kevin Bertel, also known as KP Rush, the infamous, the famous. Um, many know you, why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are and why you're my first guest on the YouTube channel. Yes, guys, well, um, I've been uh, in Orange County for many years um, as a high school football coach and basketball coach and helping the community. And basically, I used to coach Billy when he was in high school. And um, I was teaching him discipline and how to become a better man and he's definitely done a great job what he's done here at Kingdom Nutrition, which is, I'm a part of that, you know, sponsored athlete. So it's very nice to be teaming up with him after many years of coaching him. So, um, Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, KP Rush, also known as Rush, is one of my greatest mentors in life. He's been, he was a groomsman at my wedding. Um, we started out a relationship, co he was my coach when I was in football at Trebicos High School. And over the years, our friendship and our, you know, partnership in fitness and health has grown, and he's one of the biggest proponents of Keenum Nutrition today, uh, my, my supplement company. So I wanted to bring uh, Kevin on today just to talk a little bit more about his uh, clothing apparel brand. So he all he trains athletes, um, you know, college, professional, high school athletes. He also coaches basketball, coaches football, does speed and agility, strength and conditioning. Um, but on top of that, he's launched an apparel line. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what Levels means to you? Yeah, just talking about Levels, I mean, I, many years you know, in my life I've always been trying to challenge myself in sports and everything I'm doing. So I wanted to come up with something that actually people could keep on challenging their self. And so basically like when it comes to Levels, you know, in life, I mean, you're always trying to strive to be, be the best you, whatever that may be. And for me, I don't know, I felt Levels would be something that everyone would love to wear. You know, and it looks good. Um, the kids love it. Um, we're always on the next level every day and everybody's trying to do something different. But uh, yeah, no. Right, so you typically come out with KP Rush branded apparel that says KP Rush or it says Rush. And this time you've chosen to put levels across the front. Oh, I've got a shirt here with me. And so tell me a little bit about like, so levels, is this like, you know, rooftop levels, like, you know, like a Jonas Brother lyric or is this like some other kind of levels? Are we talking about levels in, in sports? Levels in the gym, levels, levels in the building. Like, tell me about this. Um, it's mainly like levels in life. Like, I mean, in life, like you're constantly going through different levels. I mean, sometimes you feel like you're at the bottom level, but you're always trying to get to the top level. So, with the levels, you're never comfortable. You're always there's always something you can do better with levels. So, for me, it's something that we can always strive to be better and be more. You know, and want to be the best you because that's really what it's all about is being the best you, representing you know your name, your family, your friends and just being a positive person in the world, but always striving to be the best you. And so I figured Levels is the way to go. That's Levels. Yeah, let's do it. So I really kind of admire how, you know, you'll, you'll keep bringing Levels into the equation, like in your videos, you know, when you're doing a set, you'll say it's Levels. You'll see someone that you haven't seen in the gym in a long time, you'll say it's Levels. You know, you'll have a big meal that you're eating after the gym, it's Levels. So Levels can be basically anything that's going next level. Is that kind of how? Good way to say it? Yeah, it's basically anytime you are trying to improve yourself, and even like I said, sometimes it can be sometime in saturations when you're at a low level, you know, but it's always trying to strive to pick it up, you know, to take it to the next level. And so for me, like I said, I mean, I, it's, been, it's been good with the people that I've been around. I mean, everybody likes it, and I just can't wait to see people start wearing it more often, you know, because we've had it for a long time. I mean, I've been supporting the word levels since, I don't know, day one since yep. I've talked to him, so. Yeah. About since the time we've had the word rush, we've had the word levels right behind it. So exactly. that's amazing. So tell me a little bit more about, you know, your passion behind, uh, you know, training and your philosophy behind giving people the, your best, giving people each and everything. I mean, I, I have a really good example. I feel like, you know, at one point we had a, a running back who was on the JV team and it was a JV game where basically I think five or six strings had gotten injured in one game. 
So we had a, a running back that was not getting any reps in practice. And now most coaches would throw in a wide receiver or throw in a linebacker or someone else and bring them into running back because they're like, you know what? We really can't trust our low level guys to be the ones carrying the ball. And I remember that you threw in the six string guy and you're like, I believe in you. I believe that you're going to make plays. And how many yards and touchdowns he go on to have that game? Um, I don't know. I think you had three or four actually in that game, actually. Right. Three or four touchdowns. And I really have never seen a kid come to life that had never, you know, gotten, he didn't see the field, let alone get the ball given to him during a game. So this was unbelievable. But a lot of that came back to the fact that you believed in him. So what makes you believe in these people that other coaches look at as, you know, oh, this guy's not very athletic. He's not very talented. Why do you continue to give the time, effort, and energy to even the least of player that you give to the best of the player? Um, actually, my ultimate goal is I, I like to coach the player and train the player that people doubt. I mean, I like the underdog. So, I mean, I love watching a kid prove uh, many people wrong because so many kids today, like, they feel like there's no one that believes in them. And I tell my kids all the time, like, I'm here for you. Like, if you're parents, friends, or whoever's not there, I'm always in your corner. I'm always going to be there. So, it's just being a positive role model and making a difference to help others, but also to tell someone and teach someone that you can do more than what you think you can. And then to watch them actually do it and then to see that smile on their face after they do it. Absolutely. And I mean, I remember seeing that kid just and the whole team is going absolutely nuts because this guy that we thought was basically, I mean, not useless, but not going to be a big high impact player is making plays. And it's amazing, you know, and it's something where I don't even know if he ended up finishing out his whole football career, you know, at the high school, but it was amazing to, you know, he got that opportunity because you stuck to your guns and you, you believed in all your running backs, not just your first stringer, you know, and you've had a lot of all CIF running backs. I mean, over the years. Yeah, I've had a lot of, I mean, I think every year I've ever coached like varsity level, the guy's been like first team all county, first team all CIF or, you know, definitely at the top five in the county. So, I mean, but yeah, but it starts with the work ethic. I mean, my players work hard. But I think that they really believe in me as much as I believe in them. So it makes it easy as a coach when kids believe in what you're doing and they also see the results. And for me, like I tell my kids all the time, it's all about results. I mean, you can talk all day long, but either he scored a touchdown or he didn't. Right. You know what I mean? It's just, that's reality. Totally. Yeah. So I remember, you know, when you were coaching me, you did this thing with us during the off season where we had to be eyes up. So we had to always have our eyes straight ahead not looking at the ground because you said the ground's not going anywhere. So you say you got to have eyes up. So why did you, why do you choose to have these certain things that you implement during an off season and you'll ride all the way through the season? Like what does that do for someone's discipline? Well, it's for me, I, you know, my dad was in World War II and he was in the military for the Air Force. So I mean, I, I, I really believe in discipline. I think it's a big deal when it comes down to like, you know, fourth down and one, and you're trying to get the first down that every guy's on the same page. So with no discipline, you're not going to get the first down. But when you have discipline, everybody's going to get the first down because they're going to do their job. So when you build that into a program, you're more successful at winning. You know what I mean? And for me, it's like it starts from day one and then you just keep it going. But for the most part, I mean, all my kids buy into whatever I'm doing. You know what I mean? But they also know where my heart is. So I yeah. think that's what makes it easy. So now that you're about 51, mm -hmm. which I mean, I'm, I'm accurate, right? That's 51 years old? No, exactly. Yeah. So um, are you? Yeah. do you feel like you're slowing down at all in the gym? Do you feel like... You know, just you coaching, you know, training people, training yourself. Like, are you feeling like I can, you know, kind of, you know, pump the brakes a little bit and, you know, slow down? Or like, well, how do you feel? Um, actually, no, I don't think that I feel like slowing down. I mean, my kids challenge me every day and, I, and I'm motivated by them and the work they put in as much as they're motivated by me and striving to get to my level. You know, I'm striving to stay motivated from them. I mean, they motivate me every day. They do some successful. So, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay at that high level, I think, until I'm gone. Because it's just, I was, you know, embedded with my dad and my family and just, you know, keep on working. You know, it never ends. You know, I mean, my dad, like I said, was studying until, you know, seven years old before he died. I mean, so, it's just, you just keep on working. Totally. There's no time else. So, I mean, why do you continue to, year after year, keep coaching, keep putting 110% in? Like, I know that you're not, you're not coaching for the Rams. You know what I mean? Like, you, you're not collecting a seven-figure paycheck for doing this. Like, why do you keep doing this year after year? Um, basically for me, like it, it's about, I, I love, I love, I love making a difference in this world. And that's what I strive to is make a difference in the world. And part of that is helping others and helping kids and, you know, making a difference and actually doing it versus just talking. Like some people just give lip service. I want to actually do the work. And to me, like I'll be coaching until probably I'm gone because like, 
I want to help in as many kids and many people as I can before I'm gone. So that's my goal personally. That's fantastic. I don't think there's a lot of people that, that would say that. So, I mean, it seems like you're a very self-motivated individual. You're very, you know, particular about spending time, making sure that you, you know, even if it's 4 a.m., you're going to make sure you get in the gym today. It doesn't matter what time it's going to be. How do you continue to, even when you have down times or you have, you know, times that are, you know, setbacks, things that would normally take people out of the gym, how do you still find time to, you know, stay disciplined in what you do? Um, I think most of all, you have to lead by example. Like, I mean, I think that you can talk, but like, if you don't lead by example, it's kind of hard for people to respect you. So for me, leading by example is what I do. And I think that people respect me more when I do that actually. So that's what, that's why I stay motivated to do that. Absolutely. Yeah. So just switching gears a little bit, do you feel like, you know, is basketball your sport, football your sport? Like what, I mean, if you had to pick, like which one do you like coaching or what's the difference or what do you like about each one and what's different? Um, you know, not one dominates the the other but I think that I mean I don't know personally I just like them both I mean I like basketball and football and I think like in basketball it's a constant you know you're constantly changing the game and you know doing strategies back and forth on every set coming down and so on offense or defense or whatever and then in football it's kind of the same too I mean you're kind of playing that tug of war you know who's got the best defense who's got the best offense who's got the better brain you know you know we have big brains here at CDM so you know it's a lot big brains okay yeah. big yeah. brain levels okay yeah. so now with levels you know, as the apparel, like if someone's gonna, okay, I wanna, I believe in what KP's doing, I wanna support. What are they doing like by, you know, wearing a level shirt? Like what does that mean to you? When you see someone wearing your apparel or you see someone that's promoting, you know, what you do in your business, how does that, you know, relate with buying the clothes? I might just think that a person is just cre creating more positive energy. You know what I mean? Because they know that I'm creating positive energy. And they're kind of just giving back more positive energy. You know what I mean? Like, you know what? Rush is doing good things for us. He's giving his heart to us. You know, he's spending his time to make us better so we can have a better life and career. And he's not just doing that in football and basketball, but he's also doing it in our life. You know, making a difference. You know, so that we can take all the things he's taught us to the future. So, yeah, I think that that's the biggest thing. That they have something they can actually, you know, remember me by or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So what would you say is one of the biggest adversities you've had to overcome? I know you've overcome many adversities, uh, many obstacles have tried to get in your way before. I mean, was it, you know, playing for the Rams? Was it, you know, high school football? Was it, where do you, where do you see like a big, uh, you know, obstacle that you've had to overcome? What's one that you can share with us today? Well, when it comes to obstacles, I mean, there's many things. I mean, person, I mean, there's a couple actually. I mean, I have to say the first one is losing your parents by the time you're 22, they're both gone. So, I mean, I lost my mom at 11, my dad at 22. So that was probably the hardest thing. I mean, person, um, I mean, this is not really hard. I mean, but I just, just the injuries I'm recovering from, you know I mean? In right. January, you know, I was basically squatting 800 pounds pretty much almost for the most part. And then when it collapsed, I mean, you know, I was kind of smiling after it collapsed because I couldn't believe that it happened. The people were like, what are you doing? And I'm like, you know, it's whatever. I mean, I, and, I, and I had an option. I mean, when I got down to my third rep, my body said, you know, don't do that third rep. But I said, I'm going to do it because it's on video. So I did it. And then I saw what happened. But at the same time, I don't regret it. I mean, it's, it's another thing. Like I said, it, it's back to levels. You know, this right. is a new level for me. It's, you know, this is the next level. I've never been here before. So it's like, it's a challenge. And I love it. And I love it. I love the challenge. Right. Regardless. So now a lot of people might say, you know, that's a big mistake. You really shouldn't be back in the gym. Mm -hmm. Or your doctor's like, you know what? You should take six months to a year off from the gym. Mm -hmm. How long did you take off from the gym? Um, probably like, mm, realistic, probably 13 weeks maybe, if I'm lucky. Okay. If so so you're back in pretty lickety split. Yeah, yeah. So wh what makes you, I mean, you had doctors, multiple, telling you don't go back in the gym. Yeah. You're back in the gym. Yeah. Don't, you know, don't do this or that. Don't unbuckle your knee brace. Don't do that. And you're, you're pushing the, the limit. So now what, what drives you to do that? I mean, why not just take it easy? Um, I want to be smart, I mean, at the same time, but like, I just, it's just, I'm too motivated to like, I have to be doing something. I mean, and again, like, it's part of my leading by example to a certain extent, but I want to be smart doing that. I mean, I want to lead by example, but I also want to be smart, but like, I can't just sit around. I mean, that's not me. I mean, I, I got to work, you know, I mean, that's what I love doing. So, you know, and being in the gym is part of that. So, I mean, I got to be in there. I mean, I, I got to smell the gym, you know, I mean, it's part of it. Right. So yeah. I, I would, I know, listen to hear you talk about this. A lot of what you're saying is a big key to keep working hard as you get older is you just never stopped right so just if you keep the train going it's easier to keep the momentum full steam ahead even when you have you know big injuries or you have big setbacks it's just the desire to keep moving forward day after day exactly 
Yeah, I think that you said it. When you start at a young age, you're doing something. I mean, it just carries throughout your life. But it starts at a young age, and then you can, you know, it's like you don't even have to think about it. It's automatically it's going to happen. But it starts young. So, you know, and that's what I try to do is lead my young youth, you know, in the right direction so they can have a great future. You know, and like I said, I mean, my kids all know that whether you leave high school or college or whatever, NFL, whatever, I'm still going to be here anytime you need me. So that's just, just trying to be positive. I mean, the big picture. That's right. It's rush. Yeah, yeah it's rush. It's level. So, all right, levels. Well, thanks so much for, um, you know, being on the show. I really appreciate you being my first guest ever. And I hope to hear more great things. Um, one last time, we've got the level shirt right here and it's available for 20 bucks on the Kingdom website, and we got you know KP Rush on the back, so everyone will know who you're supporting. But it'll be available on the Kingdom website in our Kingdom stores. You know we support KP Rush. Um, me personally, like I've you know gone through a lot of things in my life just from KP, you know being there for me in the lowest of times. Like he's supported my business and put in uh, behind me. He's the next person that's put in the most hours into my business. Doesn't collect a paycheck. Does it literally to help me and help me succeed. And he's been there when I've gotten some of the hardest news, when I've had some of the toughest setbacks, when I've had you know answers that weren't what I had hoped, or maybe I didn't achieve what I wanted to achieve. And then he'd also been there through the highs when we had you know record-setting sales, or we had a big Black Friday event, and you know he's there too, waking up 4 a.m. with me, working the event, waking up for the grand opening, working the grand opening with me. And I personally support KP Rush because I know that he has my best interest at heart and the best interest of those around him. Um, and a lot of reasons why, you know, I have a lot of friends of mine are ex-athletes that trained with KP or that were coached by KP. And a big thing that I've noticed is all of us have a genuine, you know, admiration for what KP's done in our lives, not because we've added to him or because he gets clout from knowing us. Like I'm not some great football player, you know, by KP saying he trained me, I'm not, you know, like Aaron Rodgers or somebody that's you know, super su widely successful as an athlete, but he'll still say, yeah, I trained Billy because he believes in the person's character more than he believes in their just abilities on the field. So that's why I support KP Rush and why I continue to, you know, give him my best recommendations when people ask. That's why I continue to, you know, want to have him be around my company and be a face of the brand is because he's been there for me since the beginning and he's doing it for all the right reasons. Thanks so much guys for watching this episode. We're so glad to have KP Rush on explaining all about levels, all about different ways we can motivate ourselves and be determined to accomplish our goals. If you wanna have more people like you know KP on the show, please leave a comment, let me know, like the post. Don't forget to hit notifications and subscribe to the YouTube channel because I want you to get, to get your feedback and I want you guys to not miss every single awesome guest I'm able to have on this show. I just want to remind you to pick up a Levels t-shirt from the KP Rush apparel line available at our Kingdom Nutrition website and available in store. So I can't thank you enough for being on the show and hope yeah. to have you back soon. Definitely. Thank you very much for having me. Absolutely. Levels. Always Levels. <laughs>